that this is my new camper van in Germany. I think I might be stuck. Hello, Tag. Welcome, my name is Victoria. I am doing van life by myself in Germany, where it's my first time driving internationally. So the last adventure, the last video, I was uh, having a lot of problems. That was actually just today. Like, I'm trying to film more, so that was not behind me. But it kind of is. I've been driving on the Autobahn, the highway, for a while now, and I'm feeling a little bit better. I think the thing is with this Volkswagen, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or something, it's automatic, so I shouldn't be. <laughs> that whenever I go to go, it takes it, it's like, choo -choo, like it, it feels like it shifts weird. So whenever I'm trying to pull out and go left or something and there's traffic and there's a lot of it, it's, it kind of hesitates before. So it doesn't give me as much power whenever I'm going. Maybe I'm just not used to the lack of power or something. And it makes me go too slow and it always, yeah. drive so much lower than Yuki. It feels like I can be in more control of it, but but it's also just strange feeling. Okay, so we're trying to get Destrin Frankfurt, which would be I've realized this back in America too. When I'm in the cities and I'm especially driving in the cities, I just, the world ends for me. I'm trying to get to a nice natural area near Czech, near Prague, uh, right on the border of Germany. In any case, I'm at a rest stop here. I wanted to see what the rest stops were like. Pretty similar to the US. Two more hours of driving and then we'll get to the destination. This is the video that I promised a tour of Irwin. Welcome. Welcome Erwin to the family for a little while. It's not, it's no Yuki, that's for sure. And I miss the amenities that I had in Yuki because I customized her, but Erwin has some great personality as well. I forgot I needed to get groceries. Yesterday when I got them, I just threw a couple things in, but I just have like some bananas and some eggs and I feel like I should get something else. I did it. I think I found my very first free camp spot for the night. It's pretty quiet. It's off the road. Uh, if I get in trouble for being here, it's fine. I don't think I will. This is where we're at. Oh, I should probably get 
quite dramatic. Look, I'm right beside water. So for my first European spot, it's not terrible. You know, that's not bad. The road is so weird here because while you're driving this way, it's the tram line. So there's no signs or anything, it's just the tram, co it comes whenever it wants. And if you're driving, you have to like see it first and then swerve out of the way. I don't, I don't know the actual rules for it. Lerwin, <sighs> free in Germany. Free in Germany. So we can stealth camp with this thing. We have, we have the ability to stealth camp. Metals. I hope those aren't metals. I don't like that it's right next to a road, but you get what you get. So we have all of these, which go on the windows. They're all magnetic, so that goes on the back. This isn't somewhere where I'd, you know, start camping and stuff like that. It's just somewhere to sleep. I don't have any service at all. So I'm gonna get up really, really early in the morning and try to do some activities because after driving so much, I really need to exercise. I will give you a tour of this. I just wanna do it in a place where I can actually like pull stuff out and, you know, make it nice. So yeah, I have water down here and, you know, I have the stove and stuff. This is the kitchen. Bear with me, have some patience with me. This has been a lot for little old me. I also have this tool, which oh, I don't remember how to use properly. Um, you put it on here somehow. How do you do that? I need to figure out because I don't remember. But basically, it makes it so there's a crack in this so I can have some aeration. But I might just open the window over there. <laughs> if you can see this from the outside. Totally stealthy. Uh, my morale is way better now than it was um, yesterday. I was, I was feeling it. I drove about three hours from Berlin down to Saxon, Switzerland mountains, Germany. It's not Switzerland. <laughs> um, I didn't drive to Switzerland, but there's some big rock formations here I wanted to check out. This is the food that I have. I didn't really get too much. I have, <laughs> I have my boiled eggs, prunes I found, of course. Some rice strips, some apples, banana. I, I have rice, but I don't want to cook it. The Autobahn is really easy to understand as an American. I, I did do some driving in little towns as well, which is a lot more stressful because you have to be aware of so many different things, like just like the tram thing. It's just like you have to be, as a driver in Europe, you have to be very aware because there's small um, places, but also people walk and bike way more here. So you, and you're responsible for looking out for them. Nature. So healing. <laughs> it's so cool. I'm just out here in Germany by myself. So many ups and downs and it's so hard because when you're feeling down you can't see the positive things and it's crazy how it happens. And then when you're feeling up you're like I can't believe I was so sad but you just you can't stop the feelings and you just gotta feel them. There is a stairway to heaven place that I just want to go climb up in the morning. Also, I'm super jet lagged. Um, I'm six, it's a six hour time difference. So I don't really have electricity in here. I don't have a power bank or anything. I do have like these lights that are connected to the battery of the car and I can charge my phone a little bit on it, but I'd be very careful because if I charge it too much, I could drain the battery too much and then I'll be able to start in the morning. So I have a limited amount of time with the lights. Did it. My first night. It was good temperature, it was fun, I didn't like anything. Those are nettles. All of these are nettles. Just brush up against them. <laughs> Oh, 
Beach. No fun. And I just stayed parked where it was free parking. So I'm gonna go find this stairway. Not only did I stay free, I was able to park free and I went on this hike for free. So I'm trying to do Germany pretty low cost because of the cost of how much I had to pay to get here. I was looking for the stairway to heaven. I wouldn't go up here if you're claustrophobic. down now there's just a bunch of people coming up <laughs> just a one way glad i got there before the huge influx i loved this this is amazing worth it 10 out of 10 if you come to germany you should come to this spot oh this place really filled up and i could see the place that i'm parked it's filled up too I'm gonna try to find a campground now so I can finally do this tour. I'm sorry, it's taken so long. My well, life is not glamorous by any means. It's not aesthetic either. I just needed to rest. <clears throat> I'm tired. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick tour right here. Find a broke up my good camera. This is actually the worst place to give a tour because I was actually driving down this road because there's supposed to be a viewpoint, but there's no parking. I couldn't find it. And I'm like, oh no, I can't turn around. So I like started to turn around. I'm like, I was quite quiet here. I'll just do a tour. Uh, I'm really hoping I can get out. The difference between this Volkswagen and Yuki is this is very low clearance. This is not for, it looks like I'm hopefully not gonna be stuck. I don't think I will. I don't know where I'm at. I don't even know if I'm allowed to park here. So I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of Irwin. Meet Irwin, everyone. So firstly, this is the kitchen. We're on a little bit of a slope, so it's gonna come out a bit weird. But we have full kitchen abilities. We have the butane, the stove with the pots and pans, and then we have all our stuff right here to cook with. And then on this side, we have the water. I just push and then pour the water out as you've seen me do. And just put that back in. So I have this stuff um, that you put on the windows at nighttime in there right now. It has a full bed and little cute lights on top. But I'm only using half so I can put my suitcase in one half. She's not looking so aesthetic right now. She's looking like she's struggling. And then she has storage underneath here. This is a fridge that I'm definitely not gonna use but that's the fridge right there. And then more storage on this side. She has storage up on top too, so there's like chairs and a table in there. All right, I gotta get out of here. It's kind of creepy and also I want to make sure I'm not stuck. If I am stuck, that's gonna suck. And also a biker came by and gave me a look back like three times. I like, what? It's great for me because it's not huge and it's pretty easy to drive. different definitely from having Yuki. 
All right, now's the moment of truth. Let's see if we're actually stuck. Eek. I'm scared. That was a lot of stress getting off of that road. I got off of it though. I need to end this video here. Thank you for coming along the struggle with me in Germany. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, stay extraterrestrial.